Hi there. I'm here to talk about some great original artwork, actually watercolor paintings that trace the evolution of the Oakland Raiders uniform from its early years, 1960, right on up to the kind of the present day. Um, and um, this is a 2007 uniform. I'll be showing you this artwork in a lot more detail in just a moment, but it's original artwork that I'm here to talk about today. Um, this artwork would make a great gift, you know, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas gift, anniversary gift, retirement gift. It doesn't even need to be a gift. Somebody could just be a great Raiders fan and they are looking for something beautiful to hang in their home or in their office. This artwork would really look beautiful. Let me give you a little background. My name is Scott Silcox and I'm from Toronto. For 16 years I owned a company called Maple Leaf Productions. Maybe you know as Canadians we use the word Maple Leaf on everything we do. Um, and we made and sold a whole variety of products um, that used this particular artwork, that used these watercolor paintings um, on the products. And so let me give you an example and, and we'll be looking at this artwork in a lot greater detail in just a moment. The, the, the primary family of products that we sold were products called Blacked Posters. Um, and as I hope you can see, this kind of shows an evolution of a uniform. This is a, a large plaque poster. This was our medium-sized plaque poster. Forgive me that it's the Cowboys. Um, and then this is a small plaque poster. So we use the artwork um, in this format, in our plaque poster format. In addition to plaque posters, we also sold framed posters. Now we made dozens and dozens of different shapes and sizes of framed posters. Whoops, forgive me. Uh, these are just two examples right here of framed posters. Um, and there were many more. But again, perhaps you can see that these show, again, how the artwork is used in a, in a different format to celebrate the history of the team and the team uniform. In addition to plaque and framed posters, we also made clocks. This is just an example of a clock that we did. Um, again, that used the artwork coffee mugs that used the artwork, um, fridge magnets that used the artwork. There's a couple different styles of fridge magnets. Um, we did a, a, a fan frame product that used the, the images. We did playing cards, kind of ace, king, queen, jack, ten, and oh, mouse pads and collector plates and a, and a variety of other products. What's my point? Um, my point is that this artwork really is somewhat famous artwork. And I say it's famous because it's, it's been used on literally tens of thousands of Oakland Raiders products. Um, and, you, and, and these images have been seen in the offices of team owners or in the league commissioner's office, on TV ads and TV shows and in movies, uh, on team websites you'll see them. You'll see them on the, in the various halls of fame. You know, as much as sports artwork can be famous, what we're offering here today really is somewhat famous sports artwork. And by the way, everything that I'm explaining in this video, or almost everything, can be seen on our website, heritagesportsart.com. Now, focusing on the Raiders for a second, we've got 12 and only 12 pieces of art that starts with the Raiders in 1960, and it kind of carries through the, the Raiders uniform evolution right up, as I, as I pointed out earlier, to the 2007 season. And all of this artwork can be seen on our website. Um, you, you can zoom in on any of this artwork. You can see the artist's signature, any notes that the artist might have uh, had for the manufacture of the various products, you, you'll be able to see all of that in great detail um, on the website. And so even though there are hundreds of thousands, or I'm sure millions of Raiders fans, we've only got 12 pieces of original artwork. And when the 12 pieces are sold, they're sold. So yeah, as much as I feel like I'm selling a Ginsu knife or a super chamois here, my point is that you, if you're interested, please act sooner rather than later to purchase some of this great uh, Oakland Raiders art. Now, let me explain the kind of the, the three ways that you can actually purchase the art, or the three formats that you could purchase the art. Um, yeah, we'll use this 1961 as an example. All the prices that I'm about to talk about for the Raiders um, holds for the 12 pieces except the Super Bowl winning years. And the artwork that depict the Super Bowl winning years, meaning 1976, 1980, and 1983, that artwork has a little bit of a premium uh, simply because of supply and demand. So all of the pricing can be seen on the website, heritagesportsart.com. But for now, I'm going to be talking about our standard pricing for the non-Super Bowl winning years. So hopefully that's clear to you. So the first way you can buy the artwork is in this raw, unframed version. Um, uh, this would be $450. That price includes UPS shipping right to your door. 
And if you placed an order today, we would ship this within 24 or 48 hours, and then you could have it framed or mounted however you see fit. So the first way for $450, this is raw, unframed format. The second way you could buy it is framed in what we call our classic framed version with a black metal frame and a double white mat. The original artwork would be framed. Forgive me that this shows the Denver Broncos, arch enemy of the Raiders. I shouldn't have done that. But you can see this Raiders artwork is oversized. So when we classic framed your Raiders artwork, this frame would be that much bigger to accommodate the artwork. In addition to the artwork, there's an engraved plate that kind of tells the history of the artwork. This price would be $525, including UPS shipping to your door, and if you placed an order today, it would take two to three weeks before it arrives at your doorstep because it would be custom framed. So raw framed art, classic framed version, and then the final version is in our deluxe framed version, which has a black, thicker black metal frame, a black mat, um, the artwork, the engraved plate, and then a horizontal poster showing you, and forgive me that this is Denver, but I hope you get my point, you can see your original artwork and then you can actually see how your artwork was used in that poster. In your case, for the Raiders, of course, if it was an oversized piece of art, then the frame would be just that much bigger um, to accommodate the artwork, but the engraved plate and the horizontal um, poster. And this price would be $550, including UPS shipping right to your door. Um, and it would take two to three weeks for delivery because it would be custom framed for you. Um, now, you're great to put up with me. Um, most This artwork is done by two artists. The, the over oversized ones were done by a great artist and a great person by the name of Tino Paolini. The two smaller ones, which are equally beautiful, equally you know, the stunning pieces of artwork were done by another artist, a great lady by the name of Nola McConnell. All of the artwork is owned by those artists, and they've asked me if I'd give them my help in, in promoting the sale of the artwork, which I'm delighted to do. So just to explain kind of who owns the artwork. Now, again, I feel like I'm selling Ginsu knives. Forgive me, but I'm passionate about this, and um, we really do only have 12 pieces of Raider artwork, so you need to move fairly quickly if you're interested. Um, how do you buy? You visit our website, heritagesportsart.com. It's fully e-commerce enabled, PayPal, um, through the PayPal system, and, and that's great. You could order it right online, or you can call me on my cell phone. My name is Scott. The cell phone is 416-315-4736. And I'd love to talk to you and talk about Raiders, about the history, research that went into this, the artists. You know, there's lots of little stories I can tell about most of the pieces of art here, and it'd be fun to tell it to you if you're a great Raiders fan. So feel free to call me, 416-315-4736. Um, now, I guess two final things, and I'll leave you alone. If you happen to know another Raiders fan or a bunch of other Raiders fans who you think might be interested, I'd love it if you'd pass this YouTube URL on to them um, so that they would be aware of, of the fact that this artwork was available for sale. And secondly, I mentioned at the outset that we've done you know, original watercolor paintings not just for the Raiders, but for all of the NFL teams, Major League Baseball teams, NHL, college, and quite a number of college football teams. All of that artwork, over 1,500 pieces, are available on our website, heritagesportsart.com. So if you knew somebody that's just a great fan of, you know, of the... Uh, uh, Oakland A's or the you know San Francisco Giants, please share our website with them, heritagesportsart.com. You're great to put up with me. Thank you very much for your time, and I wish the Raiders all the best in the upcoming season. Thanks very much. Bye.